why is Clark's so engraved in Jamaican culture? Michaela Simpson, otherwise known as Original Coffee. The word Clarks literally means to me culture. Uh, grew up in Jamaica and I've seen what it means, what the brand means and the actual shoes mean to Jamaicans growing up. Well, I grew up looking through this window right here and I feel like Spanish Town is a really down-to-earth place, like it's just very real. I was happy with my humble settings, you know? Observing that kind of felt like a whole world to me in some sense of the world. So I'd spend a lot of time and it would feel like a sense of freedom. Clarks in Jamaica? Yeah, don't think there's another shoe, another trainer that can come anywhere near. But listen, like, yeah, when a Jamaica person comes to England and then they're going back, the barrel that they would say that's going back to Jamaica. The amount of clocks that are in that. <laughs> Trust me, everybody has to get a clocks. Otherwise that person can't touch back the island. <laughs> One, two. As boys we are wanted clocks. Aspired. Aspired for clocks. If you said to any Jamaican, what pair of shoe would be the first shoe that comes to your mind. I guarantee you, I can bet you everything I have. Mm -hmm. Same I'm going to say Clarks, as long as he's being honest. <laughs> Clarks in Jamaica go way back. I don't think a lot of people in the UK know that. Yeah, I wasn't that well behaved as a kid, so my grandma used to try and send me to Jamaica to stay with my family. I work on music, chill, and just, yeah, survive out there. The bars come like that. Spending a lot of time there over the years and seeing people go mad over clerks has definitely influenced my style. Wearing a clerk gives you dimension, I think. That's, that's what it is. People growing up, children, teenagers, young adults, I remember it being, oh, I have to make sure that I get a pair of clerks. Clarks make me feel like a goddess, that's for sure. It's just something you can rock, so many different styles, so many different colors, you can rock it with anything. There may not be another international brand that is as deep-rooted in a Jamaican music, fashion culture as Clarks. Trust me, I, I'm telling you that. As a youth, you just thought that Clarks was a Jamaican thing. Back in the 60s and the 70s, you know, it was coming in from England. And I know Jamaicans kind of like expensive things just because it's expensive. You know, back then, people never necessarily have the money to, to pay for the Clarks. Clarks at that time, when me in high school, a long time ago, was at least 7,000 Jamaican dollars. And that was a school fee. <laughs> yeah, for the year. My grandfather, especially, he'd always boast about, oh, he has a brother who lives in America who would normally send him clerks. People were always looking forward to the gifts that the ones in America and the ones in England would bring forward. And a signature gift, or the, in the telegram, make sure you bring one of them clerks. They would allow people for clerks because you're not supposed to have them thing, you know what I mean? As like a youth from the garrison or whatever. So it's like it was like, it's almost a status thing. So I wasn't around when it caught on, but I know that the music has a lot to do with it. time I realized that you know everybody's wearing it it's in every song artists doing an entire album you know with Clark songs the, the, the album cover is about Clarks 
super cat has a song about it, Eka Mouse, and then naturally in my generation, Vibes Cartel and Popcorn come and just revolutionize it, you know? Vibes Cartel and his song, Clarks, officially, was like a big movement for Jamaica. So I think a lot of people upheld his message of, you know, wearing clocks and feeling fresh in clocks and wearing your clocks with anything. Clocks, my prefer clocks with the sour clocks with the wheat turk. Pull off a tiger, you buy the gold fur. Yeah, that one. That's when I actually started to like really, really listen to, to Vibes Carter after that. Clarks was already a thing in Jamaica for years, but when he did that song, I just remember a different level of obsession. M music influenced a lot in Jamaica, see me? Music really influenced the way of thinking for a lot of people. The brand is a fresh brand, Clark is a fresh brand and I think artists always like to have the best image and look the best and I think Clark is one of those shoes that offer that. You don't just put on a pair of Clarks, you think about it, you're like, hmm. I want to command more respect today. I'm going to wear some Clarks. For me, what I think Clarks add to my look is that extra spice. Especially when a woman wears it, it's like, yeah man, she's, she's hardcore. Let me just not kick her purse right now. You know? <laughs> if, the, if the woman them out there wear Clarks, it's just sick them, then put it together in the baddest way. So it's something I love to see. Favorite style of Clark shoes is probably a uh, desert trek. In Jamaica, we call it bank robber. So for me, if I'm going to a street dance, big sound string up, you know, late night, I definitely wear a desert. The Clark Spirit is the most beautiful pair of shoe. It stands out among all the other shoes, all the other Clarks, and it fits so beautiful. It rides so well. Probably the bank robbers that I got some Jamaican edition. I don't think no one's got them, so I like them ones. Easily the Weaver is my favourite. The Wallaby is lovely bubbly, but when it's when I want to go top, top level, my all black desert clocks, that's my favourite shoe on this planet. Jamaicans, when we have a little money, we would want to make sure we buy something good and it lasts forever. We're buying it. We're not even imagining it as is in its new state. Yeah. We're already looking forward to when it's warm because it gets better with age. Favorite part of the class. That's the favorite part of the class, it's durability. People save up for months, even years, just to have like one pair of clocks that will last, they look brand new for years. If they're gonna get our shoes, they'll probably have only one pair. So it had to be fashionable, but also durable. My uncle growing up, he always had a pair of Clarks on. They always looked completely brand new. And I learned from him that you put the Clarks in the freezer to preserve it. When I put it in the freezer, but I did get a toothbrush. Growing up and hearing those songs and saying, toothbrush, get out in those fast. <laughs> My mom always would kind of drill in my head how good they were and say, you know, this is the good quality class. You see how much years it lasts in school. I think the transition towards a fresh class kind of happened as, a, as an adult. And after that, I felt like a real champion, you know? Like, I, that's a big moment in my life. The originality, the creativity, the culture, the simplicity, I think that is actually what create the common ground between the Clarks and the Jamaica. Jamaican culture, we pride ourselves. We have a whole heap of pride, you know what I mean? And we pride ourselves on being particularly creative and original. You see what I say? If it's a happy event, if it's a sad event, if it's a party, if it's a business meeting, if it's a show, there's almost a Clarks for every occasion, you feel me? <laughs> because of that versatility, it's a brand that a lot of people love because it can follow your expression. I think. Expression is freedom, it's just another thing that you can make your own. Yeah, if you wear clocks in a school, you're fresh. Like you're fresh from early before you even grow big. So, yeah, I just think I've always seen it and I know how much it means to the youth and I know that it's literally a part of our culture.